Video games have a whole lot of problems, but there's this weird one that keeps happening. A challenge that seems arbitrary, but somehow keeps appearing year after year. Could this problem be coming up with an idea that has enough staying power, ensuring that a game's actually good? Or maybe it's being able to produce a game that actually lives up to expectations. No, it's making a third game. To be honest, I've done some checking on this, and it's not much higher than 2, but 3 always seems to be a sticking point for sequels. It's seemingly monumental to create a third entry, and especially harder to call the fucking thing X3, except for Chad Megaman, who makes two different 3s. 3s fall into one of two camps. Either 3 never comes out, or 3 comes out, but it isn't good. The amount of series that fall victim to one of these three issues is stunningly high. Let's start with the meme. Valve has four incredible IPs that have reached a number two, so you'd expect that they could honestly make a third game in any of them. But unfortunately, Valve just doesn't give a shit about that, so they just want to produce some crates. Half-Life 3 would possibly be the biggest launch in the history of gaming, foreseeably destroying all life on Earth with how much hype it would generate, and it's argued that's why they don't do it, because the expectations are so high. But this problem is not limited only to Valve with their unreasonably high expectations. There are so many different series that can't reach that milestone. And oftentimes they find ways to cheat calling a game the third game. Even The Legend of Zelda has a 2, but you're not going to be seeing a Legend of Zelda 3. You're not hard pressed to find 2s in the gaming industry. They just seem to come out for no reason, doesn't matter even if the first game was good. Even Tetris made a 2 for some reason, but realized that Tetris 3 was just not going to happen. Plus, they somehow made John Madden 2000, but I don't see John Madden 3 coming out. Fuck, they didn't even make John Madden 1. Beyond the game series that can't even make a third game, it's more apparent when 3s are eventually made, everyone usually hates the fucking thing. Borderlands 3 receives way less praise than Borderlands 1 or 2. Fable 3, a game that pretty much killed the Fable series, logically making it not the best one. Doom 3 is typically not held with any kind of high regard. The highly anticipated Diablo 3 was met with incredible levels of, this fucking sucks, endlessly being compared to the admittedly vastly superior Diablo 2. And all of these games are not that bad. My theory on this is that 1 and 2 are typically released very close to one another. 2 is anticipated, it's gotta come out. But then the developers seem to stress about the third game, as if they can't just repeat what they just did. It's gotta be bigger and better, and that's why when these things eventually release, they're weird, they're different, or just worse. Maybe one day we'll see a large surge of 3s hit the market. Until then, we'll just have to make do with playing Tetris 2. This game fucking sucks.